hello everyone welcome back my youtube channel sales for hunt this is rohit and today i'm going to show you how to make the screen components read only so this is a very most important for us if you are working on the flows in salesforce so you can watch this video until end and you can learn something new here so let's get started without any further delay so screen flow is the only flow type that support the screen element which can be used for many purposes right so it is possible to use the screen element to get input from the user or display anything that you want in order to build a screen and drag and drop the available screen component there is a standard input component almost for any data type let's say text number checkbox or date etc although you can configure them to be a required field there is a no way to make the screen component read only it is possible to use the display text component to display any rich text that you want therefore you can display the field values using the display text element which makes them read only even though it uh, sounds like a good solution but uh, they won't look like read only fields moreover some data types will not looks good for example like let's say checkbox field will display true or false instead of mark or uncheck marked box right in some cases display display the field values using the display text component will be enough acceptable however if you are building your form using salesforce flow you may want to make some screen component read only in those case you can use this custom screen component that display read only mode so how to use that let me show you so first of all you have to install one custom package right so it is available in the apex exchange you can download it from the apex exchange just click on this setup here first of all once you clicked on this setup just search here like packages right so install packages just search this install packages so i already install it so you can install it from the apex exchange uh, this is the component name read only screen component you have to install it before starting or before building your screen component as a read only right so once you install it now just you have to navigate your flow so just click on this setup under here in the create button just click on this flow and once you open it now it's asking types of template right which type of template you want to create the flow so i'm using screen flow so uh, let me select this screen flow template here just click on this create and now you can see this is the skeleton of the you know like flow builder this is the canvas here and uh, how to use that install package as a custom package here so you can use it here just click on this plus icon and first of all let me add the get element because i need some data from that particular you know like custom object or standard object right so let's say account data something like that and object which object you want like account here and i don't want to set any condition and i only want only one record here just click on this done once you click on this done now our get records is ready now you have to add your screen first of all if you want to show something so always use the screen component here just click on this screen here and give the meaningful name of this screen let's say screen one right and under this search area or you can drag uh, scroll up and down based on your requirement you can see like read only component i already installed under the custom so just you you can drag and drop like this and it's asking some api name and something like that right so you have to give api name let's say account name and without any space right and data type string here right because name is a string that's why i'm taking a string here and account name is the label here and make it uh, n capital and the value how to get the value you can get this value from you know like record single variable and type like name so now you can see the account name right so once you've done it like this just click on this done button and now our flow is ready now it's time to save this flow and let's say account name read only so this is the our screen flow component name just click on this save button and once you clicked on this save button now you have to click on this run button if you want to test your flow so always run and debug your flow and now immediately you can see 
account name as a read only and you can see this uh, you can see here this red means this is the read only field right so this is the way to work on this uh, you know read only component screen component inside this flow so you can use it anywhere as you want or you can use it for other fields as well let's say pick list uh, multiple choice or you know like uh, um, pick list choice set or you know like date fields any kind of you know like uh, fields you can use it here right so this is the way to work on this screen component make it as a screen component as read only right so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you learn something new here so please subscribe the channel and please hit the bell icon and please turn on the bell icon for more updates so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys